love those guys. Where is he? Is he uh, five people <laughs> less <laughs> is than that right? at the end of the line now? He's, I don't know. I, I think he beat up a child. Now let's and, see. Let's see what type of a what type of a host and friend he is. Okay. Does oh, you know what? We should have come up with a bingo list, like to see who who made it out. Like the wait wait. Well, no, I'm, I'm going a different direction. I'm oh, wondering if he's if he's going to be you know a, a cool guy and bring me something to drink, Ooh. or is he just going to be like nah. Are, are we putting money on this? Or? No, no, oh, no, because no, I'll lose that bet. <laughs> Fair enough. Now I love Art. He's a friend of mine for uh, 20... Give me some backstory. I don't, I don't even know the backstory. Years. Okay, well, he just kind of showed up in my life, Greg. Yeah, What's well... What's going on? I do that, though. Here. I bounce in, I bounce out, you know, <laughs> with one and, day... With and without pants. One day, you'll just not see me ever more. Oh, God. What happened was uh, I went to college. Okay. Where And uh, UCF. Okay. And I joined a fraternity because, you know, that's what douchebags do. How'd you do? do? How, how, how's the GPA panning out for you? Mm, well, I, I, I graduated. I had a, I had a point eight. Ooh. That's not true. That's a, that's a made-up number. I did okay. Yeah. Uh, I did a lot not okay once I joined the fraternity, but then it, it slowly... Oh, you were in a frat. Went, yeah, I slowly ran Wh- back Which up. one? Phi Delta Theta. Which a Huda? Phi Delta Theta. Phi Delta Theta. See, when you're Greek, you know the alphabet, and those sure. those aren't like foreign words Otherwise, they hit you with a, with a paddle. Alpha. I've, I've seen move. Alpha. Beta. Beta. I don't know. That's what it is. is that anyway, a, uh, yeah, those are actual actual letters. Anyway, so I was in the fraternity, and then uh, uh, Art shows up one day at our at our rush, and he says, uh, "My grandfather was Phi Delta Theta." So get that's what we here. called Legacy, and we almost have to accept him. What? So even though even though nobody <laughs> liked him, he was this tall, gangly, he, he, dorky guy. So, no, no, so no, the, no, 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 no. So I'm, the Art Miles that we know and love today. I am so completely kidding. Oh, he's man. he's basically the same guy you know today. That's amazing. Except 25 years ago, and oh. uh, he was. Uh, so just, 25 years you've known him. Yeah. That long? Wow, that's amazing. Probably 1991 was Incredible. probably when we met. Is this is this the first podcast you've 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 done with him? It is. Wow. In fact, uh, when when he was considering doing some sort of podcast because yeah. he's he's been in broadcasting for a very long time. He's worked for Fox News. Got an for Emmy. A long long time. He's yes. Got a got an Emmy under his belt. He does. So he has some technical and uh, for a couple of years he was trying to get together a, a, a late a, Sort of a, a pseudo late night talk show, and he was calling it Overtime with Art Miles. Oh man! Uh, I was kind of involved in helping him here and there with that sort of thing, and he, you know, threw it around for a little while. He's actually got a, a set at his house of like a late night. Talk I totally show. wanted to do that. I totally wanted to do a, a, a set in my garage, like just build out my garage and yeah. do, into a set. And it, it, it was actually part of the part of the earliest uh, plan for this store. So I don't know. I'm busting What's up, him man? out. Hey, I'm bu- hey I'm busting come him here. Out. What are you doing? You can't just. You want to talk? You have to talk if you're coming in. Now you don't want to talk. He's waving it off. Uh. So you, I don't know if you remember <laughs> seeing the the uh, the episode of um, Seinfeld where. Wait. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Wait. 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 Is he coming Hold in? On, he's, he's, he's right behind you. Are we talking? Here we go. Hold right. on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah. Now, if you could, if you could well, just project I mean, out the first 15 minutes of the think? movie. Yeah, uh, yeah, Your yeah. little thing there. It's our only hope. Wow, wow. that is really cool. That is pretty cool. Hey, everybody, it's R2-D2. Who's, I mean, <laughs> who's controlling? Let's just assume like, no one's controlling you, him, and he's just controlling himself. Oh, okay. Every, That's every, what I want to believe. Oh, I would totally take a picture of this, but my phone is periscoping right now. I, I hope so. it's periscoping. You are, you're, you're totally on periscope right now. Every, everybody can see you. Well, well not, like, not really, because ev- like everybody. And, and, and your fat head's in the way. One my fat head is in the way. Well, what do we see? Yeah. Is he is he not in the shot? I don't know. we got to get him in he the is, shot. He is, but Todd's in the way. <laughs> one, of, one of only two characters to be in all movies. Now oh. about to be the seventh movie. I must get out of the way. R2 is here. <laughs> Sorry, you've been bumped. Uh, right? <laughs> just, for real. I, I can't believe how big he is. Maybe we never noticed because why? I don't know, because he was always shorter next to a Wookiee or a human. Maybe. Right? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't until we saw him with the Ewoks we didn't get a chance, but we always assumed the Ewoks were tiny. Right. So uh, that made sense. R2, so, yeah, R2, you got you to gotta take a picture with the little girl behind you. Oh, yeah, oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. She wants a picture. Oh, he turned, his, cool. he turned his head yeah, he around. Turned his head around. So cool. Of course he did. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, Thank R2. you. Whoa. <laughs> that was amazing. I know, man. Come on. Man. That was really cool. That, that was, was cool. really cool. I, I heard him earlier walking around. Oh, sure. Oh, I see you got your glasses for he, your show. He, he only shows up for oh, the for What the is that? What is that delicious? Oh, special I got events. french fries. No, oh, is that what that was? Okay. So oh, cool. you just Two opened it up. That's what it was. You just opened it. Man, there's so Will it be weird so to bring it up on the table and eat during the show? That yeah. would be weird. Don't do that. Okay, so uh, we're going to What are we going to do? Very quickly finish the the story of Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Let's continue. And, and, so and more. where we went to. So, uh, we were at the fisting. Yeah, we were at the fist. Wow. You said you'd never talk about that. <laughs> I don't. He does. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you know, uh, after after overtime, it sort of had its little run. And, oh, that's and what it was. That's what it was. We were talking about how you how you have a set. Mm-hmm. You have a set built. It's I was on my to- porch. I was telling and Greg that I was totally. I was. I, I totally wanted to build a set. Todd wanted to, to do his own show too, yeah. and, and now he's got his own. That's you amazing. Got your own store. He's Instead got of a set, you yeah. built a studio. I built a studio. <laughs> And then uh, I don't know what happened after that. At some point, I decided I was going to do uh, a podcast out of my house, so I bought a right. bunch of yeah. equipment and stuff. And then uh, great art, interviews. Art. I had no idea that there was uh, so much history. He was saying twenty-five years. You guys have known each other. Yeah, like right? was it ninety-one? You joined the fraternity. Yes, it was ninety-one. Yeah, so which is a crazy story, by the way. Pretty yeah, much yeah. coming up on twenty-five years of knowing each other. Oh my gosh! Yeah, That's so cool. That's funny. Each project, and it's been unintentional each time. Each project that I've put into motion. You've ended up being there for the first of each. When I did the oh, TV yeah, show, that's right. when I did overtime the TV show at Channel Nine, I just purchased airtime at 1:30 in the morning. Yeah. I just well first to back up, I put a pilot together uh, at, at Fox 35 and said, I have a pilot, I have an idea for a show. It's going to look like you're working in an office instead of a desk and a chair like Letterman and Leno do. It's going to be office cubicles. And damn it, if it didn't look like yeah a, a, a so bunch of people working in. An I office. sat in one cubicle, except the wall didn't go all the way up. It was a partial wall, so the guest would sit at the other cubicle. Okay. So it was just that was a talk show. Right. I put the pilot together, and then I started to just shop it around, and I found two sponsors. And those sponsors gave me enough money to purchase airtime at Channel 9. Who are, who are the sponsors, by the way? Uh, the, the one was... One uh, was where you pee into a putter. No, right? no, no. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, Mr. Hook It Up, which I think is still in town. Mr. They, like, Hook It Up. You're right. It is still in town. They, they install... They're, they're down uh, on uh, 1792, I think. Yeah, they, they install entertainment much, equipment. Much overdue house. shout out to Mr. Hook It Up. And the other the, one was... The John, Orlando <laughs> staple, Mr. Hook It Up. And the other one was John Pekethley's father, who came up with the... Uh, the when you didn't want to walk through an entire golf course with 18, an 18 hole course with a whole bag of golf clubs, he came up with a little thing where you just put three clubs in it and then the, it's staked into the ground. And I can't remember what the name of it was, but those two gave me enough money to put four episodes on the air at Channel oh, Nine. Cool. It costs like two hundred dollars for a half hour. Yeah. And it Back was like two thousand and four. That's and not very much. No, it wasn't very much. Yeah. So at the time. Uh, I was able to access the ratings, and we were putting out the same numbers that that uh, Jimmy Kimmel was close okay. to that time. Didn't you you beat? Didn't you beat him one time? We did beat him one time, <laughs> and we tied Letterman one time when NCAA basketball 
pushed his show all the way to 130 when we were on, and we that's, tied that's him. That's worth an Emmy by itself. That's right. That's, that's a recognition right there. So, that's amazing. So I did that for just as many episodes until I ran and out of money. And you know Four what? Episodes and you know two what? Reruns. Jimmy Kimmel remembers. That's right. That's right. why he's as never he asked you. Never forgets. He's never asked you on his show. That's, <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's why. So, so then, so then I just did that. It was just an experience. We did that, and then shortly after that, you know, YouTube became popular. Internet mm-hmm. became more popular. So I built the set on my porch, and I just did one-on-one interviews. And Greg was the first interview I did, and then I wasn't the first for that. I don't think I was. Yeah, you were the one in the, in the living room, uh, the one in my on my porch. Yeah, I don't think I was the first, but uh, if you say I was, then I was. I don't. I don't. Remember. I'm thinking you were. You did one by yourself, and then one and with then Tiffany. And then you did one, one with yeah. Tiffany. But then Greg was also an unexpected guest on my first show at the <laughs> Channel Nine show. I'm calling it the Channel Nine show, like Howard used to call his. Yeah. You were on the Channel 9 when Greg was in the audience and he had just experienced a spray tan. Oh and I was like, God. I need to know what a spray tan looks like. So I brought him up and he showed us what the spray tan. And a then, lot like an Oompa Loompa And does. then we started the Gods and Monsters and here's Greg again. So unintentionally, Greg's been a part of all these See, that's experiences. Why, that's why you've got your shit together. You've been doing this for years, man. I, I, had, I had no idea there was such a uh, broadcast history. You're, you are rich with history, I've yet sir. To, I've yet to post those episodes from the show, from the Channel 9 show. I'm going to start calling it that you from now on, the Channel you 9 still, show. You, so you still have the footage? Oh, and yeah, there were there were four 30-minute shows, and each show was, I'm going to have a local band play, I'm going to have a local yeah. personality we'll interview, and we'll have some sort of man-on-the-street segment. Oh, my God. So we yeah. killed a half hour easy, especially if the oh band no. played a song. Oh, no, his thing opened up. Oh, no, that's not good. Secrets revealed, R2-D2's uh, back has been opened. There's no human inside. I'm glad it's off camera. That people See, know that, that proves he's real. Yeah. There is no Kenny Baker. I hope his handler. <laughs> there is no Kenny Baker. I hope his handler. How amazing is, would it have been? That if, is real. If Kenny Baker close. had walked out of there, how oh amazing would that God. have been? <laughs> right. Hi guys. <laughs> da, 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 da. Well, he's moving. That's, by the by the way, that is, that is the worst Kenny Baker yes. impression of all time. You don't normally hear his voice. I met him. He's got the cutest little fingers, by the way. He, a, a, if you've never met him, he's got he's, he's got these again. tiny little tiny little. Fi- Are you making fun Are, of, a, of a short person? Well, I would of never. A little person. I would ne- no. I was fascinated. Okay. Right. To what to watch him hold a. Uh, a Sharpie was so cute. <laughs> it looked his, like a banana his wife, in his hand. His wife loves him so much. R2 is back R2 again. Is back. Hello, R2. Oh, uh, turn around, R2. And now he's there out. There you go. Now. There it is. Go ahead. Right. You're doing, you're doing what number great, is that, Greg? This is, this is four over here. This is three or four. I don't know. It's whatever it is. All right. he's, he's not talking. I was hoping he was going to say something. All right, now he can turn yeah. around and use there the mic. There you go. Okay. Hey, everybody, there R2 is. is back. Hi, R2. Hi, feel, R2. Feel, <laughs> I was going to say... Don't feel you free. call me a mindless philosopher, you over at Lava Grease. <laughs> feel free to recite some of your favorite lines from the movie. I mean, there was the being shot by Jawas, you know, and you fell over. Yeah. What, what do you... That's, that's the one. Exactly. See, that's what we thought. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm sure that was a painful scene for you because you had right? to fall flat on your face for that. Right. Now, now tell me, was that was that you or was that, that or was that a stunt a stunt astromech? Was that? Uh, yeah, that was you. Wow. That's amazing. Is it really? He, he does his own stunts. He yeah, says. he does his own that's stunts. That's incredible. Well, he like looks great. Like all the stunts are you. Like even getting shot out, shot out of the swamp monster. All that was you. Oh. Right. <laughs> that's incredible, man. Like, like I, like I really. I, this is really interesting to me because I've been a fan for so so long. So, so, what's the pay so rate like for a shot. droid? I mean, do you feel that you guys get uh, like? Do, do you feel that you get fair pay in, in Hollywood? No, not really. <laughs> Has, do you feel that the industry's changed much since the 70s and 80s when you were doing the originals? <laughs> eh, no, I maybe. feel you. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Right. Let me get a picture of the two of you together. What a great place to, yeah. That's awesome, man. You're great. So tell me, um, so the new film is out tonight. I haven't watched any trailers. I don't know if you heard about this. So he doesn't I, even I know if you're in anything. it or not. Uh, no, no, I, I, I know that you're in it, right? You're in the new movie, right? <laughs> Excellent, fantastic. Now tell me, and I, I know this might be controversial going in, but uh, what are your feelings on your co-star BB-8, this new droid? Oh, he's a camera hog. Yeah, without, I mean, without spoiling anything. We don't want spoilers. But, uh, yeah, easy to work with, you think? Or Okay, all right, that's cool. Do you feel that he's got a future in Hollywood, maybe outside of the uh, upcoming trilogy? No. <laughs> he's, got a, oh, wow. he's got a future under everybody's Christmas tree that's this right. year, though. That's for sure. He that's may, true. Like, like you're saying that he may have a he may have a future, but maybe not one say so bright as R2D2. So that's what you're saying. That's right, it. Right, yeah, right. Exactly. That's what I figured. Are you concerned that uh, he's going to become a more popular character okay. than you? 
He's he's pretty talented. I mean, I've seen what he can do running around on his little ball. And he's, he's terribly mobile, this new guy. I think you have some fans behind you. Maybe. Oh, okay. I thought he wanted a I photo op. Oh, although. Oh, photo op? Oh, yeah, yeah go, 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 go. Yeah, go. please. Go ahead, please. We don't want to be taking up your time. Any chance for a kid to get a picture. Can you imagine if I was at like, that so age cool. meeting R2-D2? That would have blown my mind. I think I totally just interviewed R2-D2. I think you uh, you need your own show. Oh, so you, you did, need, well. You need you did to, well. You need to live out that dream of, of building a set in your house and uh, running your own show. The interview was good. You were tough but fair. <laughs> you, you did ask the tough questions. Uh, you're all right. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. We're fine now. How about this? There you go. <laughs> Maybe they'll send us stuff. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to get in depth, you know, t just to, to discuss with him what it was like to work with C3PO. Next you know, time. Next time. Next time. The, uh, Look at the kids talking to him. I That's know, the man. coolest, you know. Uh, it's like magic, dude. Come on. What are you talking? He's showing about? him his uh, bear toy. That's cool. Uh, oh, it's an R2D2 bear toy. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, is that one of the, I wonder if that's one of the build bears uh, I don't it, think so. It, like, no. it doesn't appear to be one. Yeah. Man, what a great time to be a kid. That's so cool. That might be the, the greatest moment of that kid's life. It might be the greatest moment of my life, just seeing that happen. Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome back. He's back. Welcome back to the interview. We were just discussing. Um, tell us a little bit about your co-star, C-3PO. I mean, you guys have been... Uh, How's the on the on screen relationship is 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 obvious. There's like, a lot of chemistry there. There is. There's right. a lot of chemistry. A lot of history. And it's uh, you know it's obvious to everybody who watches it that you guys are you guys friends like uh, outside off screen outside, off screen camera. No, not no, so much. Not really. Wow. I could I could I I can imagine that his his Britishness could get he's old. Terrib he's terribly British. I mean, right. he's he's Great. polite in a very off-putting way. Right. So I, I I can understand that. R two R two language, language this, please. This is right. a this right. is going on YouTube. Right. This is yeah. This is their kids. You 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 know this. Come on. Oh. Pompous. Really? Oh, well, I, 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 would, I wouldn't call it pompous. I would just you know. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I believe he's almost recited every line from all three movies he's been in. Oh, oh that's, he's art, freestyling art, it. He's freestyling it. Right, you're he's, agitating him. You're oh, agitating the guest. <laughs> oh, he's had enough. Thank he's you out. so much, R2-D2. He, he just stormed out of the interview. Always a pleasure. It. Wow. He just pulled his microphone off, and I think he said this interview's over. I, feel like I, think, I think that's exactly what was said. If he would have had arms, he would have thrown down his, his papers, microphone. and he just who would knows, have been out. Who knows? Maybe he'll be back later. Maybe, maybe he'll come back. I'm wondering if they're going to find a way to put R2-D2 and C-3PO in any of these off movies, these one-off movies like Rogue One. I don't know. I, I don't know that they will either. What's the story of Rogue One? One. The yep. people who found the Death Star plans. It's a prequel. Mm, the I feel like... Bring us this information. Dude, but we've got who? Alan Tudyk is in it? And Mads Mikkelsen? Uh, Alan Tudyk? Alan Tudyk. Is there a director? Do That's we know? a weird... I don't know if he is. Sure. Thank you. Oh, what'd you get? Let's go. Yeah, he drew us. Yay. 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 Thanks for letting him be a... Oh, okay. Absolutely. He was a great guest. <laughs> Look at it. I love... He used to scale Kenny Baker can and wood can in the head. Wow. Room. Neat. I thought it was kind of cool when he opened up. I was just like, there's no Kenny Baker. There's no Kenny Baker. Oh, my God. It's real. Yeah, he doesn't have Kenny Baker socks coming out of his side, so... <laughs> Amazing. To those who don't know what's going on, uh, we're actually speaking to the controller of uh, R2D2. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin anybody's. You know, but he's doing a good job of keeping the controller yeah, in his yeah, pocket yeah. It, and just letting people walk around. It took me a little while to realize that that's who was doing it. Hey guys, we have a uh, we have a guest coming on. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, Put some headsets on there. Uh, friend, friend of R2D2, friend of R2. Yes. Uh, what's your name, man? Uh, Dan Waltman. Dan. Hi, Dan. Where are you from? Uh, we live down in the Sarasota area. Right on. Mm -hmm. And how long have you uh, been friends with R2? <laughs> About uh, three and a half years now, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Oh, wow. Tell me, uh, so uh, this probably isn't your first rodeo with uh, with R2. Uh, what, what other places have you guys shown up for? Um, we've done the uh, uh, Megacon here in Orlando. Nice. We've done the Tampa Bay Comic Con. Uh, cool. There's some local probably conventions down in Bradenton uh, that we've gone to. Um, we've been to a couple schools, uh, birthday parties, a lot of different things. Fantastic. The is, kids, is the kids this, love is it. Is this the only R2 unit that you're friends with, or have there been other R2 units? Um, currently working on a uh, R6, a second one. Oh, right on. Cool. And it's going to have a lot more stuff than this one. Neat. Right on. Is it going to expand, do you think, one day in your dreams uh, of creating... Or, 
uh, being friends with a BB-8? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, uh, currently I'm friends with a BB-8 dome, but that's about as far as it's gotten right I now. I see. So. Okay. So, so, that, so there they, is sort of plans yeah, someday. Yeah, like 10 years from now. I'm yeah. Somewhere. Well, I imagine <laughs> the technology, years. the whatever, we're just going to break it down. The technology of creating a BB-8 is... is, <laughs> is, is far beyond uh, an R2 unit, I imagine. Yeah, um, the thing that's really amazing uh, recently in uh, technology is the fact that they've come out with a lot of the open source stuff. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these uh, open source boards that you have, you can get stuff like the, uh, the Ar Arduino board, The uh, they have a lot of uh, SparkFun stuff, there's a lot of other boards, and the big thing with BB-8 is figuring out the uh, basically accelerometers to figure out when it's going to stop, you know, right. so it doesn't keep rolling because obviously a ball, a ball is very unstable. Well, but just, I've actually seen some other people that have done some really interesting stuff with that. They've come up with really interesting ways to, uh, you, you know, gotta, work around you got to get your hands on three or four of those hoverboards and just tear them apart and figure <laughs> out how those work. Yeah, and, and really I, I think that's probably the base of how they actually did the BB-8 for the I movie imagine, is yeah. uh, those things and then, you know, even the uh, Segway, segways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes pretty, a lot of sense. Pretty great. Well, while you're here, do you have tickets? You're going to see the movie tonight. Yes. How? Uh, what? What showing are you going to be at? Um, I think it's the 10, 10 20, I think. Right. I think the, 10 the next 20, show. I is say. the next yeah. show. So it's not the one forty show. That's no, me. not the, the one forty. I'm one forty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's like the ten something. Poor oh. Art. He's a trooper. How long yeah. can he run uh, before oh. you have to take him back in for a nap? I actually have. Uh, he has two uh, twelve volt, eighteen amp batteries. So that basically will run one amp for 18 hours or oh, 18 amps oh for gosh. one hour. Okay. Um, wow. Whenever he's full speed on carpet like this, he's pulling maybe five amps. Yep. I've gotten through three days. Uh, I've actually gotten through three days of uh, a convention with him on one battery. And then he has a second battery I can switch over to as a backup in case the first one goes dead. So, so much better than an iPhone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah much better than an iPhone. That is so cool. <laughs> And, and do you you fabricate all those pieces individually or? Yeah, this one uh, this one was a lot of uh, taking styrene, a plastic, and cutting it uh, by hand with a razor blade. Wow. So you just cut it and cut it again and again and again and again. And about 50 times after you've cut it, then you can bend it and break it, and then you start on the next piece. So all this is hand cut. The second really? one, I now uh, built a 3D printer, and it's making the process much, much easier. Oh, I can boy. imagine that 3D, so. 3D okay. printers is really going to change the, the oh, yeah. face of creating stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And especially with the open source. Like, uh, again, that open sourcing is really opening this stuff up to kind of anybody, you know, anyone who can go out there and say, hey, you know, I'm interested in electronics right. can get into this kind of stuff. And, in fact, the uh, my 3D printer runs off the same board that he does <laughs> off the yard. No That's so cool. Yeah. So, and I mean, it's really just a robot. You so know? Dan, when you were a kid, yeah. did you ever, in your wildest imaginings, think that you'd have an R2 unit? Yeah, no. no. Maybe, maybe that's yeah, a, that'd be right? a no. That's a fantastic question. Like, at what yeah. point in your life did you yeah. decide this is what you wanted to try to do? It was actually really interesting. It was probably about four years ago. And prior to that, I had done uh, creature effects for independent films, student films. Right on. And in fact, we made a, uh, actually at the same theater, they had an event uh, for one of the Batman movies. And we made a Bane mask that they used here. Oh, right on. And and, uh, but it anyway. have a strange voice. Yep. Wow. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> our friend mimicked the strange voice yeah, yeah, okay. through the mask. But uh, anyway, uh, so what it had come down to was I saw one. Oh my God! It's a babe maggot. It's better than a dog. Oh. <laughs> but what I got I gotta get one. What, All are you, right. what are you looking at? What's that? It was it, the girls just flock around it. Oh yeah. Oh no. It's a. I'm it's sorry. A, I didn't mean to, to it's, interrupt it's a, you. No. It's a, we are we are fascinated by the cultural impact of your R2 <laughs> unit, sir. Oh yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, he gets all the checks, man. Come on. Yeah. You kidding me? Yeah. It's R2. I mean, yeah, it's not I, like C3PO. I okay. Mean, so you know, so yeah. back to when you when, yeah. when but, you were. Um, basically, uh, we had seen one at a uh, convention, and I thought about it, and I was gonna just build a static one that didn't move. You know, I'm like just just for fun. You know, I'm like it'd be something that was interesting. And a lot of it came from uh, Adam Savage had made a comment. He was sure, talking yeah, about yeah. something else. From he's like, blah, 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 this, this, this. And he's like, when I built my R2 unit, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, R2 unit? I could do that. And then uh, I went to Star Wars Celebration, and I saw the R2 Builders room. Oh, and once I walked amazing, in and right? saw them, I, I was like, that, yeah. you know, the hardest part's going to be figuring out scale. You know, I mean, do I have all the measurements right? And I was talking to somebody, and he's like, oh, you can get the blueprints for free. Ugh. Two weeks later, I had a leg. There it you is. You know, and then from wow. there, it was the other leg and the foot and the body and the dome and Hell yeah. you know, piece by piece. It's amazing there to it think, is. and I'll brag for you, yeah. what you have built is better than what they had in 1977. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, without question. Yeah, and, and that's, that's one of the interesting things, too, is, you know, like I said, with technology and everything coming along, 
Um, you know, I've seen some really amazing ones that have a lot more than what mine does. My, my second one is going to be able to do a lot more than what this one does. And it really is interesting what, what you know, just a normal person can do now, nowadays. Sure, you know, yeah, yeah, with a little ingenuity yeah. and a little bit of money. And I'm the kind of person as a kid, you know, I mean, I was building models, you uh -huh. know, so it, it kind of makes sense. You know, I always like building things. Well, it's incredibly detailed, well, and, and what, I'm What's cool to me, Dan, is it. that it, it, I don't know, man, some, something about droid building that just, I don't know, it, it's... It's exciting in a way that uh, people, they're not just they're not just seeing a droid. They're they're kind of interacting with culture. Like, yeah. like R R two is a part of popular, you know, the popular myth. You know, yeah. like, like the like the story that we've been told for years and years. So it's it's kind of like kind of like meeting a religious figure almost. You know what I mean? And I'll tell you, it, it is something interesting. I mean, even moving through here, anytime we're at a convention, sure, it'll take you 40 minutes to get 20 feet because oh, yeah. every oh, two, sure. three steps, somebody wants a picture. And, you know, you don't want to walk away from somebody. I mean, somebody's excited to see something you built. I mean, how do you yeah. walk away from that? You Absolutely. Know? So you always want to go back and, you know, and especially with the kids, you know, I'm like, I'll, I'll walk away from stuff to go up to a kid because for them, I mean, I mean, you remember that magic whenever you were a kid, how amazing something Absolutely. like this sure. was. The only reason yeah. you, you built this yeah. was from, from that thing that you when oh, you yeah, were a man. kid, and you were yeah. just like, oh, my God, the coolest thing ever. I yeah. met yeah. Spider-Man at a car show in 1978. It changed my life. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, that's for real. It's, it's, but, but it's cool because R2 can interact. You know, right. uh, there's, you know, you can, uh, what, we, I interviewed him. Yeah. <laughs> I sat here and yeah. interviewed him for five minutes. I was going to say, I'm just so, excited. I mean, I'm just as excited to see him move around and move left and right as oh, I am yeah. to hear him. Yeah, oh, dude, yeah, it's yeah. the best. And, and it just takes it to that, like, I'm, I was talking to R2-D2 a second ago, yeah. which is the most amazing thing in the world to me. And so. the funny thing is, too, I mean, you know, some of them, you know, I mean, you can kind of tell what he's probably saying. The cool thing about talking to people, half the time I just hit a random sound. Yeah. People come up with what he that's said a, on their own, it. and that's what's kind of neat, you know, because the person, you know, having the conversation is part of the narrative. I mean, they're way, coming yeah, up yeah. with what can he's I, saying. Can I just say, I just saw a little girl just walk up. There was no Had camera the involved, no camera. She just walked up and hugged R2. Oh, that before, was the coolest thing ever. Before that, before she did that, that. Um, she had walked by it and she turned around and she said, I love you, and uh, then walked oh. away. And then she, then later she came back and, and did that hug. See, R2 is completely real to her, yeah. which is so and amazing. Then, and then he shocked her. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'll tell you another thing, too. You guys were talking about the scale, and that was one thing that really shocked me whenever I first saw the to-scale models is how big he actually is. Yeah. Like, you know, you see him in the movie, and it's like, oh, he's a little guy, but I mean, or if you think about it, yeah, he comes up to about yeah. the bottom of your rib cage. It's, it's surprising. Like, yeah, he's, he's pretty big. The scale oh. of film is weird. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just keep glancing up and seeing that little screen over there. What's going on? He keeps keep showing oh, the trailer. Yeah. Oh, trailers. I'm, I'm dry. I haven't seen anything. I, so I'm I saw like, the, me too. I saw the teaser trailer and the second trailer, and then I stopped. I was yeah, like, no, I don't yeah. want to see anything else until I see the movie. That's it. I'm just the oh. first two. And so I haven't been on Facebook in like a week. I'm like, I don't want anybody, no spoilers. Oh man, I had, I had to get mean on my Facebook. I was just like, why are you, why do you guys do this to yourself? <laughs> like, right? So how difficult would it be to get some sort of projector inside his eyepiece? Oh, right. You know, I, I actually out. thought about doing that. Uh, they actually make really small they make projectors very small now. Ones. Yeah, yeah. And what made me think about it is I saw a phone that had a projector built into it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, if they could put it in a phone, you could sure. probably find pretty small ones. I mean, I have, sure I, have enough. A, I have a projector on my video camera. Yeah. 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 So You're I mean, right. Yeah, That's it, the next step. Yep. <laughs> well, and, and, like the, I said, and then jets, side yeah. jets. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Nobody, nobody knew he ever had those. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if he say it, but apparently uh, he didn't know yeah. either. Uh -oh. we, we, yeah. What is I, it? We have to make him more mobile. <laughs> I, I like the original trilogy. So. Oh, yeah, uh, I think we all do. I don't know we, if this one has do. jets. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you going to be seeing the uh, 3D IMAX or the regular IMAX? Um, I think it's a regular IMAX. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. No, I think the only thing that's playing in IMAX is 3D. Oh, is it? Oh, sure. yeah. We'll be getting glasses. Yeah. That's, that's, okay, well, that's no fair. We'll Security is actually wielding a lightsaber <laughs> over there now. Talk about a well, double standard. Do as I say, not well, as I do. R2 was over there earlier <laughs> playing the Imperial March with him. You so, know, if, yeah, if, we make, if we make lightsabers criminal, right. only the criminals that's will have right. lightsabers. Uh, that's right. That's then a, the Empire has that's, won. That's then right. Then the Empire has won. Yeah. Yep. That's a controversial uh, subject, guys. That's Did we just do something so, political? I, I think we. I think we just got political. Okay. So if you've been to the other two celebrations, we probably all ran into you at one time or another. Sure. Because I had a blast going oh, yeah. to celebration. I, I'm. I'm kind of sad it's not here anymore. Man, that, yeah. That that first one here was man. That was, oh, it was with so the, great. With the ad ad, ad, ad and the lobby. Bobby. Holy oh, crap, man. dude! That yeah. was so cool. I, I actually I actually attended the the first one in Denver. Oh uh, really? Back in back in '99. Uh, I bef and it was two about two weeks before Phantom Menace came out, 
so the hype was still there. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, we hadn't had our It was like cash. this moment. It yeah. was. It really was. And uh, it, it was cool because I, I went and I, I cosplayed for the first time. I was I was I did a Darth Maul cosplay. Oh, the red makeup and everything. The, the red makeup. I still did horns. I did the whole thing. And I, I I must say I looked pretty good. Oh, I, I, I pulled we'll it off. We'll have to have photos of that and, uh, pop up. And um, yeah, right. There's there actually is one. There's one on my Facebook. Oh, okay, uh, an old one. But I, I got to. Uh, dar- um, Ray Park was there in attendance. Ray Park? Ray Park was there, and, and of course, Darth Maul was still, you know, this, oh, this yes. epic the evil. The new evil. And, got uh, cut in half halfway And, and, and of course, I had to get in the line to ask him a question, and I was the last guy in line to get up. And everybody, of course, was, you know, they, they were uproarious. They were like, yeah, you know. And I talked to him, and uh, I, I said, man, do you have... Do you have any idea what you've gotten yourself into? <laughs> and I got everybody to, to, to get up again and, and give him a standing ovation because he's awesome. I don't know if you've ever seen, if you've ever met him uh, in person. No, no. First of all, he can drink like crazy. <laughs> he's a he's a he's a smaller Fun guy fact. than he's a smaller guy than you'd expect, but he's real. He's, he's he can booze it, and he's super cool with kids. Man. Really? Like I, I I've witnessed this. Uh, kid came up and uh, had his had his uh, had his brother with him, a little brother. The little brother was shy, didn't want to meet him, and uh, jumps. Uh, Ray, Ray's like, "Why, why, you know what? Don't you want to meet? Come on, man, come back here!" And he jumps up onto the table, and he's just like, "Come on, man, let's go!" Wow. Jumps over to the other side and takes the picture. Really, really cool guy. That's and, uh, cool. Yeah, man, he's 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 top notch, man. He's, he's he's super cool. But yeah, um, Denver was crazy. It, it got rained out. There was oh. it was just it was it was miserable but fun. It was so cool. But it was the first it was the first uh, for celebration first one. Yeah, that was pretty. I, I'm, neat. I'm beginning to wonder if just if Orlando should or is going to be the permanent location now oh, for be celebration, being that Disney owns them or it, they hop from California to Orlando. It just seemed like such a good fit when it was here, man. Such a good fit. And it was, uh, the, I think that first year it was uh, Empire's 30th anniversary. Oh, for the celebration you went to in Denver? So, uh, no, no, no. For uh, for our, for, for uh, 83, celebration 93, here. 03, 13. Yeah, you're right. There. It would have been 30th. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was what, 2010? Well, it was 2010 for the for the celebration with the ADA. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So that was 30, 30 years? 80, 90? Yeah. I have to go A million? Point. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look, look at him. He's, he's taken like a dozen pictures since you and I started talking. Because R2. Because he's R2, and we're just people. I just totally photobombed that guy. And I was saying, I said this <laughs> on one amazing. of our previous podcasts. I think I'm going to keep doing it. R2-D2, the original USB port. Right. Right? He's oh, yeah. got to be the original. Oh, sure. The little I think arm was, that comes out and it goes into another computer. He was uh, R232. That's a, a fiction. The RS-232, yes. Fiction, that's uh, fiction informing the future, I think. Yeah. Right? Star Trek's always done very well at that, but oh, yeah. a little hint of it from Star Wars that's with right. R2-D2. How's, how's the, uh, how, how sturdy is that thing? I mean, uh, it, it looks like there's a lot of pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of pieces on there that might not stand up to some more spirited people <laughs> who want pictures with him. Um, usually, he's actually pretty good. Um, the legs are pretty much all wood in it. It's got a uh, PVC composite frame around uh, what's holding the uh, foot motors is aluminum. So those are pretty st- solid. The thing that makes me a little nervous is people pulling on these hollow projectors, mm-hmm. which usually, I mean, kids will do it. They won't realize, you know, and, uh, sure. but I've never had a problem with anybody really messing with it. You know, I mean, people generally really respect it. You um, would expect that they would, yeah. 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 So, I mean, I, I've, I've never really been worried about it. There are oh. other people I know that have built them that are real crazy about it. And they're like, don't touch it or get close, but... You know, I'm like, that kind of, you know, the whole point is for people to get excited, yeah. you know. So. Have you ever weighed him? Uh, he's about 150 pounds. So no one's going to run off with him. That. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's pretty heavy. <laughs> uh, transporting him from place to place is a bit of an uh, interesting thing to figure that out. That was my next question. Do you yeah. have, like, a minivan or an or a SUV or something? Yeah, we have an SUV now that we put him in the back of. Yeah. Uh, when oh, I first built picture him. Picture coming up here. There we go. Just think about all the places that don't have ramps, and he's got a, no staircase. Oh, my gosh. You notice I how didn't... they always cut away in those scenes from the movie? There's a reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've noticed that in the movies, too. I'll watch it. I'll be like, no. I'm like, no, he did not go down those stairs. I'm like, this little so <laughs> And then we learned that he has those jets, so that was just off screen. Ah. Back to the jets. <laughs> I couldn't believe they they put that in the new movie. It just looks so. Or the prequels or whatever. It looks silly. Yeah, that's yeah, not that's not place, R2. That's not R2. Yeah. Well, and I think the thing that I loved about, uh, you know, 
the thing that I loved about R2 was the fact that he's, he's uh, for all the ice. you know, he's old and beat up. That was one of the mm -hmm. really cool things about Star Wars. Is there was there was a grit to it. You know, right. it was gritty. It was especially, dirty. It wasn't clean. Especially you know? in four, uh, four the and used five universe. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you, he got beat the hell out yeah. of. I mean, do you yeah. hesitate to weather him? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's an interesting thing because I kind of want to because again it'll be more screen accurate it looks more like R two sure, right. but at the same time you know I mean because I said from the beginning I'm like I'm weathering him it's a Star Wars droid he should be weathered it's ridiculous for him not to be and then you build it and you look at this thing and you're staring at it going it's perfect oh really am I gonna mess it up <laughs> so what I've kind of decided is I I don't clean it I let and it's funny people touch it and they get little marks on it so I'm just I let him weather naturally, is what I'm right calling okay. it. So he gets a little looks chip like you got some carbon scoring here. Looks like you guys have seen some action. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's been to a couple conventions. He's seen some action. Uh, actually, one of the uh, conventions we found uh, when we got him back home, the radar eye had lipstick marks on it. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm like I don't even know when oh, that R2. happened. And a, and yeah, a phone so, number written on his back. Yeah, yeah pretty, no, that was right. in the slot. Right. Oh, oh R2. Yeah, it was. hi -oh. Well you done. Bad boy. Hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> Kiss marks on his slot. <laughs> Go R2. You know, you always got to drag it into the I, gutter, I, don't I, you? I, I, don't I, you, Todd? I, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So did you have a lot of trial and error on getting this built successfully? Oh, yeah. A lot of lot of uh, wounds, injuries, trial and error. Yeah. You, oh, but, I mean, even with this the second one I'm building, like, there's a lot of things I want to do with it. And I've, I mean, probably my most used phrase recently has been, I think it's going to work, you know, and, and until you build it, you know, I mean, you kind of cross your fingers and go, I reinforced it as much as I could, you know, I, I did all the, the math that I could, and I, I think I'm going to be okay, and you put it together, cross your fingers, and if it works, you're like, yes, if not, yeah. you're like, but you sure as shit, oh. sure as shit learned about batteries and servos oh, yeah. <laughs> and motors yep. and... That LED thing blows my mind because I, I could never, ever build something like that. That's you know, so it's, cool. it's interesting. I went through and, and uh, soldered each one of these. And, I mean, in total, he's got somewhere around 300 LEDs, I think. Each LED has two leads on it. Mm -hmm. And they're so close together. They're, they're very, very close. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I soldered every one of those. And wow. I, I realized, I'm like, it's a, it's a monumental task. But I'm like, it's almost kind of fun to do because you get to the end and you look at it and you're like wow I, I did that you sure know? I totally built this uh, I can appreciate that yeah and then you know you're like wow that was really awesome I'm not doing that again and then <laughs> and then you know a year later you're like okay I'm doing it again let's, let's do it let's get on the next one I'm know? almost half surprised so. that they don't sell a kit that's just a, a LED board of any size that you want to order and it's just random give me random colors you know, yeah random yeah, well, random blinking or whatever <laughs> I'll probably tell you, do something like that I it's might, but it's probably more fun to do it yourself. Yeah, right? well, I'll tell you, I mean, most of it, eBay. You know, you go on eBay yeah. and look for, you know, three millimeter red LEDs, three millimeter green LEDs, you mm -hmm. know, and you get them packs of 50 or whatever. And that's kind of how I did it. And then I just went through and randomly placed them. There's some pictures of where people think what color is supposed to go where. And I mean, I, I found wherever I looked at it, I always think back to episode four, and there's a scene where you can see it really well. Yeah. And before I realized it was flashing lights like this, I thought it was a green gauge. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little heavy on the green. Is that when uh, is that when you were watching it on VHS at 240 lines of resolution, and then all of a sudden Blu-ray came out and like, holy shit, there's 300 LEDs in there. <laughs> yep, that's uh, almost exactly. Holy shit, okay. R2 yeah. is a human being. <laughs> that I resolution is terrible. I'll, t I'll tell you though. I mean, after building one. Uh, if you build one, you cannot go back and watch the movies and not realize every error there is on R2. Oh, oh man. Um, whenever I decide, I'm like, okay, how am I going to paint it? And if you notice on this one, uh, around those hollow projectors, especially on the front, uh, the parts go black, silver, black. Yes. And, again, depends on the movie, depends on the scene. In episode four, at one point, this is blue, silver, silver. One point, it's black, silver, silver. One point, it's so you're, black, silver, wow. black. You're now seeing continuity the errors first, in props. Yep. Wow. The first scene, you see them. This is set this way to where this is the back. The second scene, it's the other way around where this is the back. Uh, so, uh, I mean, it's, it's astounding to me that in the same movie, from one scene to another, it's completely different, you know? And you're like, well... What do you mean screen accurate? <laughs> which scene? Which <laughs> second of which scene? That's you know? funny. So, uh, the, and you know, so it kind of ruined that for me with R2. Uh, the other thing, I go back and I look for things now. Like, I look for Kenny Baker's legs. Oh. I know where to find them. I know which scenes you can see them in, you know. 
But at the same time, though, I mean, before I guess it was the the magic of you know the movie and the story. Now it's kind of the magic of the engineering, and and that's really what I admire about it now. Is you know even back in the 70s, like yeah, this is you know far more impressive than what they did. But at the time, I mean, the engineering was astounding. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. really have to marvel at that and appreciate not only the engineering but the art and the science to it. You know. So I'm sorry, I, I got distracted. Something just happened with the audio, and it's and, weird. And art is gone. No, no, arts. no, arts, arts right, right hey, there. Arts right there. Let me make sure R2 got in the live shot. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. Oh, that, that should be the picture. Oh. Me, me giving him the secret plans, right? Oh, yeah. All right, there you go. You can eat it. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Yay. You know, and that's another thing that's really interesting, too, after building this. You go back and watch the movie. She's putting the plans in here. Right. Every huh. time somebody comes up in a Leia costume and they pose, they put, put it right there, here. Right? Yeah, and I'm like, it's actually this one. But again, that's something that you don't notice. Until You're a phony. You haven't even one. seen the movie, right? you weirdo cosplayer. Get out Poser. of here. You're like, Poser. I have punched more women <laughs> over that. <laughs> she just just take, take the picture right. <laughs> put the bikini on. You don't deserve <laughs> to wear on. those hair buns. <laughs> You haven't earned the right. That's right. Yay. R2 is totally standing. I still get weird about it. I totally know that he's built. Hi, R2. Oh. Hey, man. I wanted you to be my best friend when I was a kid. I'm sorry. That's weird. That's a weird, that's a weird thing to admit. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> when you had the uh, R2 character, did you always put him on your finger? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, that's what you do. Yeah. That or... If I was if I was particular, as in a weird mood, I'd make him into a little cannon. I, I oh would, no no, we did that too. Sure sure. Oh, good, good, I mean, good. why why else would you be able to? That's to right. Pull yeah. them up like that. They, what do they, they call should, them a uh, Blastromex. They really should have. Blastromex droid. They yeah, should have yeah, put right. a stop on there so you couldn't do it. But Who no, didn't do that? Yeah, we had to. Yeah. Oh, that, that was that was way back, like you know, in the, the '80s and whatnot. They weren't worried about that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's right. You know, it's like yeah, same thing. Oh, back when they allowed us to be kids. Yeah yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that was weird. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, we were allowed to go outside without knee pads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All that and, dangerous. And where we, where we didn't even realize that they made bike helmets. That's weird. <laughs> they make bike helmets? Don't make me wear a bike helmet. Whoa. I'm not wearing a bike helmet. How many yeah. kids really died from not wearing hel hel bike helmets, by the way? I mean, why is that a, why is that a law? Just, just enough. Just enough to ruin our day. Oh. Uh, Come on. Take some personal responsibility. Yeah. Oh, man. What are you doing over there, Art? He's running the show. So, right, exactly. He's uh, he's producing. Okay, gotcha. Let the let the man produce. Well, see, the 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 plan was always supposed to be I was supposed to be the producer. He was supposed to run the show, uh, like oh, right. be the host. But he likes to keep all his crap over there. Sheesh. And, yeah, well, what can you what can you do? So so I guess that begs the question, Dan. What's next for R two? What's uh, where 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 are you off to next? Um, you mean like the next event we're doing? Yeah. Sure. You know, I honestly, mean, I don't know do you, yet. Do you have like the next few nights lined up at other places? Or? You know, actually we don't. Um, I, I actually don't know when the next event's going to be. It's probably going to be Megacon. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be a little while. I mean, like, Is I he... probably could go to a couple other uh, theaters, but, sure. you know, I mean, we got we got things we got to do this weekend and everything. No, that's cool. Yeah. So. What do you got? Like a big event coming up this next week or something? Or is it like a family thing? What are you, what are you doing? No, we have a boat. Oh, no, no, I was going with the Christmas thing. Anyway, um, oh, okay. I was setting it up on the tee. Come you on. just like, whoosh. Anyway. Christmas, we have a boat. Uh, well, yeah, and we Christmas live in Florida. On a, Christmas on a boat sounds like fun. Uh, is R2 uh, available for hire? Um, yeah. Birthday Good parties? Question. Good question. Event? How does that Corporate work? Corporate events? Yeah, technically because he's a uh, Lucasfilm. Sure. I feel like I have yeah. a lot, a lot, yeah, like you, a lot of lawyers on me. You can't like, profit charge from money. Him. I understand yeah. that. Makes Dan sense. is Dan is nothing, nothing if not respectful now, he yeah. of copyright law. He cannot so, profit off it, but can he at least try and get his money back and break even? This sure. is merely a labor That's of a love, question. and uh, right. yes, I understand. Yeah, that. I mean, he is no, Dan is in no way profiting from this. And the truth of it is, whenever you think about it, you know, I mean, even even the fact that people get excited about something that you built. I mean, to Dan, see are that. Are you going to say that's payment enough? I, I wasn't going to say that. Oh, you know, man. Hey, you can. You can, you can if you like. I think that is payment enough. Damn right it is. <laughs> it's payment enough. Well, I, <laughs> so what's the farthest you've traveled with the R2? Oh, that's a good question. Um, and do you have a specialized trailer for him? Uh, we actually did. Uh, now we have an SUV, but we used to have a, uh, it was just a regular trailer kind of thing that sure. I bought. 
And then I built this uh, box, and I built it out of uh, like plywood and uh, surrounded it with uh, like a PVC covering. So it looked like the uh, equipment boxes you'd see, uh, you know, uh, like for a band bands and that sort okay. of thing. And it was a really nice box. It had this uh, fold-out ramp and everything. And I remember I took it to uh, Fanboy Expo uh, out sure, in Tampa. Yeah. And I brought it in. I had it in the box. And where we were loading up, I opened up the box, lowered the ramp. I was going to put them in, and someone's like, wow, that box is amazing. Where'd you get that? And I was like, uh, I <laughs> built it. And they're like, you built that box? And I looked at it, and I was like, it's I, a box. I built a robot. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> really? <laughs> And he kind of laughed. He's like, "Oh, okay, yeah." Wait, wait but, until you see. Yeah, what's he was amazed set. by the box. When you when you take it to cons, does uh, how many people do you fool thinking that there's an actual small person in it? Oh yeah, that's that's always a fun one. Uh, there's there's always somebody who's like, "Is somebody in it? Is it is it a robot?" Because it did. It took me two passes to. It took me two passes to realize that you were controlling it in your in your pouch. What makes you think I'm controlling it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There were so many people your around. Friends, we, I forgot. We, we couldn't figure right, out who right. it was. Well, and it was, no. it's funny because I'll go to conventions and people will be standing there and they'll be looking up at the rafters and they're like, hey, "Who's who's controlling this?" I'm standing right next to them. I'm like, "I don't know, man. You figured out? Let me know." <laughs> <laughs> Every, every trailer I don't want to see is like on the screen right They're over. popping up. <laughs> this game's popping up and it's like, come on, guys. I'm not seeing anything from this seat. You're yeah. sitting yeah. on the wrong I'm side of the table. I'm in the worst possible position. I love the uh, the red and blue, uh, whatever, oh, with that. Yeah. Like, it's not just, or it might be, but you've, you've either offset it enough to where it looks like a patented Lucas wipe. Like yep. a Lucas, oh, right, like right, a Star right. Wipe. Right. So, it's never a Star Wars wipe. Because it's never a sharp wipe. It's always yeah. like a little... Plus. The haze. So yeah. apparently, what was in the original, they just had a little light in there and it had a color wheel that they would just turn back and forth. Sure. So I've got LEDs in here, and the way I set up the LEDs, I basically put them in a checkerboard pattern, and I wanted to simulate that color wheel without dealing with all the nonsense of the color wheel. So I, I basically, the way we programmed it, we programmed it to simulate that. So you can see the uh, wipe go back and forth, and yeah. it's actually kind of funny because I, I actually don't know the programming, it's all in C. I, I did all the wiring and the building and the engineering, but a friend of mine uh, is actually a programmer. That's what he does for a living. So yeah. me and him sat down, we did all the programming. And uh, it was actually funny because we sat down and spent probably six hours. Basically, we spent about six hours doing a boot up sequence where it turns purple, uh -huh. a brighter purple, swipes to an even brighter purple, <laughs> and then goes red and blue, as well as loading bars on all these. And that's something that nobody sees unless they're standing there the second I turn it on. But you know, we spent four hours doing it, you know? <laughs> to clarify, Dan, did you just kill and then resuscitate R2? Uh, he does that sometimes. He's oh. a god. <laughs> uh, and, and, and the controller there, is it is it's a Bluetooth Bluetooth situation? Or is that, that is a the PlayStation Baker. 2? Right, but is that is it a local Wi-Fi or is it a Bluetooth? Or? It's, it's the 2.4 gigahertz. It's oh, it's just, just regular wireless. Yeah, yeah, okay. control, yeah it, it's basically the thing you would take on a PlayStation 2. It's and the plug in, little thing I've you know. Ever so, seen. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I found like a really small one. So oh, that's great. The actual receiver for it is uh, wired into the board, but it's the sort of thing you would go up and plug into a PS2, sit across the room, and play with. Yeah. And I found the range on this is actually, you know, quite astounding. I mean, I've gone completely across convention halls. I've gotten so far that I'm not comfortable being that far away yeah, from it. I you know? either, yeah. So people start loading it up. And I don't know what the range yeah. is, and it's funny because people ask me, they're like, you know, what, what's the range? And I'm like, I don't know. I've never been able to get him out of range. Wow. You, know? you should just tell them it's, I, you know, it's your regular cordless phone range, and they're like, what? Yeah. what what's it? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's I, that's so amazing that you had to, you had to learn you had to learn so many disciplines to put that to make that thing come alive. Yeah. Uh, from sculpting to well, electronics it, to yeah. yeah. Well, and it's, it's funny because uh, I, I'd even thought at one point, I was like, you know, with the programming, I'm like, maybe I can get it to a point where if it gets out of range of the controller, come home. the uh, uh, motivator pops out and smokes and oh. like, oh, it's a bad motivator. But, and you know, and that was my kind of funny idea. And then I realized I can't get it out of range. So that'd be a big waste of time. You know? Is he finished or is there something else you're looking to, to do with him? So this one's finished. What I'm probably going to do, I'm building a second one. It's an Imperial R6. And I really like that one because now with the 3D printer, I have the ability to build little parts mm -hmm. to make uh, more mechanics, more uh, servo points, a lot more interesting stuff to, to it. But at the same time, because it's non-canon, I can play with it a little. And I can do things like uh, in some of these little details, put uh, the Imperial Cog or something. Uh, so I want to do that with it. 
but that one's going to have the ability, uh, it's going to have more abilities than this one. So then the plan is, after that one, since it's going to be a you know, huge improvement over this one, mm -hmm. I'm going to build another R2. I'm probably going to pull parts off him to uh, turn into the new R2, and that one's going to do the whole panels open, like as much as I can fit into it. So cool. he's kind of become the... He'll eventually be spare parts for another one, and then oh, so sorry, this R2. one that makes me sad. Well, yeah. we're, we're talking about we're talking about keeping this one and, and uh, build, building a uh, R4 dome for it, so it'll still it'll still be there. It's just you know, I mean, he's the old model, you know. Now I'm working on the you know upgraded one. Well, I appreciate you coming out and yeah, talking yeah, to us for a while. Dude. This is cool. Is there any, can anybody find you online somewhere? Is this something you like to let um, people know to the public, or is this just like something you do for yourself? Yeah. Um, if people want to look uh, on Facebook, Please. it's uh, The R2 Files, and uh, you should be able to find it with that. It's uh, the letter R and the number 2, and then Files, F-I-L-E-S. Okay. Is there an underscore, or is it just The R2 Files? No, The R2 Files. Okay, so yeah. The yeah. Okay. Letter, yeah, the D, R two files. Yeah, R and then two and then files. Is it yeah, two E's Facebook. or one E? Is it the or the? Uh, the. Okay. T -H -E? Okay. Well, I mean, some people say the, and they're just like, oh, it's T H E E. I'm not that. I'm Gregory not that going to school in the South. Yeah. So anyway, I went, well, yeah, I went to college. I, thank you guys for letting me come on. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I really no, appreciate dude, it. You no, really no, made our on. night. It made it awesome. made it a lot more interesting and a lot of fun for sure. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you guys. And enjoy the movie. Yeah, you too. Oh yeah, do that too <laughs> if you got oh, time. Yeah. That was a plan. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, thank you. Thanks, so cool. Right, yeah, come on. I've never seen any any just regular person put together something that intricate and so and impressive. Amazing. Uh, yeah.